platforms and just help you carry the weight of like a heavier camera rig. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to be testing it with a three axis gimbal. I'm using the Turbo Ace all steady motion with a Canon 70 uh, camera and a 14 millimeter lens. Uh, which is the rocking on lens under and basically what I'm uh, testing right under right here You can see me just getting some shots walking around with just a gimbal holding it and this was a long take about uh, I think it was three minutes this one long take and After three minutes obviously holding a gimbal of that size with the camera and the lens and that stuff uh, It's you know just really tires your arms out uh, so that's where uh, camera support like this one which is the Flycam Flowline 750N uh, and on top of it, like I said, I have the Flowline Placid spring arm attached. Uh, this really helps you uh, basically take the weight. So I'll tell you right away, it does take the weight off your arms. You don't feel it in your arms or your shoulders. It's great for that. Uh, what I really just wanted to show you in this video is uh, if it's actually also helps you maybe smooth out the, the basically the bumpiness. And I, after you know having used it and now looking at the footage, uh, I can tell you that I don't really see much of a difference. So I don't know necessarily if it's going to help you. Uh, smooth out the motion. It's just I think it just helps you carry, you know, a big heavy payload uh, Like the one that I have up here uh, Anyways here. I'm just gonna show you some shots where you can kind of compare So I'll show you basically one shot which is just me carrying the gimbal Now uh, I, I think you know, I'm pretty good when operating a gimbal not to not to boast too much But what I mean by that is that yeah, overall if I have to handhold the gimbal even if it's like a medium sized gimbal like, like this one uh, I tend to walk very smoothly with it, so I kind of, you know, know how to uh, kind of move my whole body and my arms to kind of minimize the up and down movement. And the reason why I know this is because I've used a traditional handheld stabilizers, like a traditional Steadicam for many years, where you have to do that. And so in short, what I mean is that when I have to handhold a gimbal, uh, I usually don't have uh, too much of a problem with the up and down movement. And then here you'll be able to see the same shot, but now with the gimbal attached to the uh, the Flowline Placid spring arm uh, that's attached on, on top of the Flycam Flowline camera support. Uh, also, so you can better sort of compare the two, I'll sort of show you a split view. So here on the left side is the, the, the one with the, just me hand-holding it, and then on the right side is the one using the camera support. Uh, and I'll just kind of let you guys watch all these different takes. Uh, I'll just leave it up to you. If you guys think it it helps smooth it out, great. If it doesn't, uh, I guess it's not so great. Like I said, in my opinion, I don't think there's really any difference between the footage. The difference is really uh, you feel in your arms. It definitely made it a lot easier for me to walk around. And I'll tell you that basically using the gimbal with whether it's this kind of a camera support or any other camera support that I've shown in the past, uh, you know, as long as it's sturdy and it basically places the weight on your hips. Uh, more than your your arm and your shoulders uh, it just simply means that you'll be able to walk around with it for for hours even and you're not not going to feel any of the fatigue uh, that usually you feel when you're just hand holding a gimbal of that size uh, anyways if you guys are interested in seeing the full flowline placid spring arm review or the review of the flycam flowline uh, 750n uh, then I'm going to provide the links for that. Uh, again, click on that and also in the description of this video or on my website, which is tomantosfilms.com, I provide the link.